Okay. Looking at trading multiple time frames. And um today we have the four hour, the 30 minute, and the two minute chart. On Friday, I showed um that we was in an ascending wedge or bear flag where the price could break out of this level and the price could uh or the or the price could have broken down this trend line. So what happened was Friday the price broke out and we ran up to the nineteen thirty we made a nice run up in the nineteen thirty three area. Um we sold off and now we're coming back down to possibly test the uh the breakout level. And and it's possible to come back in the break the breakout level and, and hold this trend line and continue back up. It's possible to do this. We can come down into this area. If the buyers are strong, it'll it'll hold the 10 or maybe even dip. They may even push it below the 10 a little bit before before taking it back up, before holding this level and kind of coming back up. Doing something like this. Holding that trend line and, and kind of taking off, holding this trend line and, and this 10 level. You may dip below the 10 level, come back above it, hold it, and then continue to take off up into this next level and possibly form a. You have a bigger wedge here. Or. You can have a bigger, a bigger pennant, bear flag that will take you into this level. Bear flag that will come down, break the level, and continue lower. So that's one. And and looking at this today, you may see. We have some resistance here with this with this bar stop at around the 20, 22 area, 23 area. So looking at the smaller time frame, that coincides with yesterday's low on a two minute chart. So if you look at the two minute chart, you'll see that this is the area yesterday's low, and that's one, which is the same area of this close of this bar here. Which also, if you look on a 30 minute chart, is, is this resistance here. So for shorts, the longs would buy and hold, hoping that, um, that we stay above this daily low and don't break it and, uh, and have a stop around, around 10 or below. The shorts would wait for a pullback. Into the 23, 20 area level, 20, 23 area for a rollover. So let's see if we hold this trend line and, and continue up, or if we roll over. Hold this trend line and continue up. We can hold this trend line and continue up. Or if it rolls over, break this 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 thirteen and come down to test this in between this structure here, which is around O three, around this area S one level, which is still above the bigger trend line on the time on the bigger time frame. So let's see what happens. Right now we're going sideways. Making a little uptrend, it's making lower highs. So we'll see if we get all, uh, if we get a breakout up here, the test up there to the 22, 23 level, or if we break down below these levels, below 14, and, and continue to the downside.
So let's trade ideas and see what happens for the day.